Welcome everyone to Kevin's. Yeah, it, it's not even Saturday Night News anymore. Like, the budget was so low, we had to remove the SNN from the sign, so now it's just Kevin's. It's not Saturday, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I didn't even want to do this broadcast, but the only reason I am is just to tell you that Toby Square Hardware will not be open today. All right, I'm not going to be here today, beautiful, but I'll see you when I get back. Take care of yourself. Mwah. Uh, hi, Toby. Oh, dear God! How long you been standing there? Long enough to see whatever that was, but I'll erase it from my memory. Anyway, I just came to ask why we weren't opening today. I saw Kevin's Saturday night... I, I mean, Kevin's. Well, Monroe, I'm going to a big convention today, which I must say I'm quite excited about. There's an investor who seems like he's interested in purchasing my stuff to work on equipment of the future. Oh my god, Monroe, I just can't believe it, how far this hardware store has come. To think, if this investment goes well, oh my god, this could be a whole new beginning for me. Don't you mean, for us? Oh, well, uh, I was thinking maybe it was just gonna be me going to this here convention. You see, uh, no offense, partner, it's just that, you know, I'm kind of the main name of the business, the person that everyone's gonna be going to the investments for. Wait a sec, but then, if you're not bringing me, then why are we closing? Can't I just hold down the fort while you're gone? Well, uh, Monroe, you see, taking care of the hardware all by yourself is a big responsibility, you know, and I just don't really think you're uh, I just don't want you to get stressed out, if you know what I mean. Anyway, Monroe, I hope you can understand where I'm coming from. With all due respect, Toby, I don't. I'm tired of being seen as just your assistant, who always has to call it quits if you're not here, or can't do anything on his own. I mean, come on, my name is right there in the- What the- Sorry, I gotta borrow this to finish off my sign. I'll return it back. Someday. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. What I'm trying to say is, this company is run by both of us, and I'm sorry to say it really doesn't feel that way anymore. Feels like things have always been so unbalanced. And now you're going to this whole convention thing and showing off our company without even bringing or mentioning me, and thinking I can't even hold down the fort on my own? Monroe, I'm sorry, but that's just how the company works. I'm the big head, and there's certain things that should be done by me. Now I best be running to the convention. See you around. What am I, a speck of dirt? Hey, would you mind playing the role of the dirt in my next broadcast? You'd be great for the outdoor set. Lord, give me strength. Well then, I guess I better get back to tidying up the place. Hey, kid. What the heck? Who said that? Hey, kid. In here. Okay, so the walls can talk now. I told Toby not to inject chemicals into random things. Man just won't listen. No, kid. Remove the flap. Uh, okay. What the heck? Well, come on in, kid. Don't be shy. I've been here a long time. What the? What on earth is this place? Did I stumble upon Toby's secret storage unit or something? No, you didn't, kid. Welcome. What the heck? Who are you? Ah, my name is Victor, my friend. And welcome to Victor's Steamworks. Victor's Steamworks? You're telling me you've just had some hideout behind the wall the entire time? Ah, not necessarily, my friend. You see, it's a long story, but... This used to be a completely normal part of the basement. And I opened up a hardware store. I knew how many engines got broken around here so easily. So around six years ago, I opened it up. But unfortunately, it quickly faded into obscurity. What do you mean? Well, I just wasn't very good at fixing up engines. Nobody wanted to be anywhere near my steamworks. And nobody wanted me fixing them up. And for a while, people even forgot my entranceway was even here. And another hardware store was built over it. 
Huh. You must be referring to the one I'm working at, then. Yes. I've been behind your hardware store for a couple of years now. And I must say, it's quite a shame. I've always wanted to have the amount of business you have, but I've never had an executive or assistant grand enough to help me. Of course, I did used to have an assistant. A uh, little yellow crane. But unfortunately, even he bailed on me and went off to do his own thing. Wow, that sounds awful. I work at that new hardware store, or I wouldn't call it new anymore. But I must say, things have been pretty unfair there. I'm always looked at as simply the assistant. I can never do anything on my own. And I'm never allowed to help Toby on any of the big things, like events, special projects, and anything like that. Well, my friend, tell you what, I will offer you a proposal. How would you like to come work at my Steamworks? We could make this place brand new, refurbish it, make it what it never was, and what I've always wanted it to be. I could use someone as skilled as you. Well, I appreciate the offer, but I do value my job at Toby's. So maybe we can just try it for today and see how it goes. Hardware store is closed anyway. Toby doesn't want me watching it. Excellent, excellent. Then first things first, do you know of anything we could do to attract people to this? I've got a few ideas. Come one, come all, to the brand new refurbished Victor Steamworks. Victor Steamworks? What is that? Well, it is a brand new hardware and fix-up shop. Where me and my new assistant will fix you up in no time. Well, Toby Square Hardware is closed for the day, so we might as well check it out. Great, then follow me. Now, if you'll just follow me this way, you'll see... What the? Hey, Victor. I'm all set with those edits you told me to do. I organized your toolkit, installed a vending machine, and put in an Atari for the waiting room. Oh, and I put in another light, of course. Really needed it. My goodness, Monroe. You're a miracle worker. Whoa, this looks really cool. I'll take a fix-up. Yeah, me too. Nobody could say no to this, unless they were joking. But that's my thing, don't do that. Well, Monroe, why don't you take the first customer, my friend? No problem. I'll have this guy oiled and checked up in no time. And done. Oh, Monroe, I am more than happy with you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. This is perfect my friend. Well, 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 that was some convention. Talk about being an a-hole. That guy completely shut me down. I mean, I did tell him I was a train, so I don't really know what the fuss is all about. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. Paxton, why are you making sussy noises? I feel better than I ever have in my life, Toby. What are you talking about, partner? I just went to the new Victor's Steamworks. Monroe is working there. Monroe? Victor's Steamworks? Hey, I'm a good. Yeah, it's a new place that practically just opened up. But if you want to check it out, I'd recommend getting in line now. The next time slot available is 1 a.m. It's 10 a.m. Well, I think I will swing by and see what's going on. I bet it's certainly not moan worthy. See you later, Paxton. Oh, don't worry, Toby. Once you've gone, you'll understand what all the sus is about. <laughs> I'm not funny. What in the hippity hoppity heck is going on here? Monroe, what are you doing here? And why did you drill a hole and make this in the back of my hardware? Uh, Monroe is busy right now, I would have you know. And this has always been here. You've just never noticed it. Monroe, quit fooling around. I'm back from the convention already. We can open today after all. Well, sorry, Toby. My day's booked now. I already told Victor that I'm working here for the day, so you'll just have to wait till tomorrow. What? But I'm your boss! Have you ever thought that maybe that's why I'm working here today? Victor actually treats me with respect. He treats me as an equal. In fact, 
He lets me take most of the fix-ups myself, and he lets me handle a lot on my own. Have you ever thought that maybe that's just because he's lazy? Excuse me, I am only lazy on the days that end in Y. And once again, Munro is booked for the day. Maybe you should have thought about that and how much he means to you before you let him wander off here. So, I will see you later, my not friend. <gasps> you take that back! <sighs> hey, can I borrow this tape and possibly never return it? Oh, hey, Kevin. Yeah, you might as well. It's not like I'll be needing it for another long while. What do you mean? Uh, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I kind of chase Monroe away. The little guy has done so much for me, and I really should have told him that more. I do really appreciate the fella. He's my best friend after all that. Then why didn't you take him to the convention this morning? Or let him run the place on his own while you were gone? <sighs> it's just, I take a lot of passion in this place. It was the first thing I truly ever created by myself and made me feel like I could actually do what I wanted to do in my life. And I guess that's something I just have a problem sharing. And I really need to work on that. Well, why don't you just go tell Monroe you're sorry? I'm sure he'll understand. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, you get better speeches unscripted than you do on the news. I'm sorry, what? Nothing, nothing. But unfortunately, I can't go talk to Monroe right now. He's at that new Victor Steamworks place, and there's a huge line. Wait a second. Did you just say Victor Steamworks? Yeah, that's where the little guy's working. Oh no. Toby, this is bad. What are you talking about, youngster? Toby, I used to work at Victor Steamworks. It's been here for a very long time. I used to be Victor's assistant. Well then, what happened? I've never even heard of the place, and apparently it's been behind my wall the whole time. It's Victor. He's insane. Or... In other words, just a cheapskate. Like I said, I used to be his assistant, and he treated me completely unfairly. He was so money-hungry and lazy. He wanted all the attention, success, and money to himself. He never gave me any credit, even though I was the one who did most of the work. He makes you do everything, and yet he takes all the credit for it. Like nine-year-old Roblox YouTubers. Oh my god! Monroe has no idea he's about to be practically enslaved. Kevin, there's only one thing to do. We must whoosh and wheeze to Victor Steamworth. I agree. We've got to save Monroe. Let me pull out my news broadcasting cameras. We can expose Victor. No offense, Kevin, but like no one watches your show. So I've been told. All right, let's just go save Monroe. This is the police. We're breaking in. Well, not really, but the second part is true. What the? Toby? Kevin? From Kevin's Saturday Night- I mean, Kevin's? What are you guys doing here? If you need a fix-up, you'll have to wait in line. Monroe, you don't understand. Victor is craving money, and he's gonna enslave you. That's ridiculous. Victor is practically one of the nicest friends I know. And that whole part about him being money-hungry and lazy is ridiculous, too. He's only in five bags of barbecue chips today. What's all the fuss about over- <gasps> No. It can't be. Kevin McCranister? That's right. And if it isn't the one and only drippy bumhole, Victor. I'm sorry, you guys know each other? Oh yeah, I used to be the assistant to this guy. And he treated me like absolute poo-poo pee-pee. That is ridiculous. Do not listen to him, Monroe. No, Monroe, please do listen to him. In fact... This guy right here is the reason I started Kevin's Saturday Night News in the first place. I was tired of getting walked all over, doing so much work, and getting nothing for it here. So I decided to pack it up, move out, and find my own thing to do. So Monroe, please listen to me. He may seem like he's your friend now, but at the end of the day, he just wants you for the benefit of himself. <sighs> oh my god. How have I not realized? I... I'm the same way. I... I don't know what to say. Victor, is this true? Well... Well, of course not. You... You see, I... Um... 
I... You're not going to get away with this! <gasps> Kevin! From Kevin Saturday Night... <sighs> Kevin's... I, I keep forgetting the new title. You dare to expose me now! I finally have my brand new millionaire employee! And you're not going to steal him away from me now! You brought this on yourself, Victor! You could have had what you wanted all those years ago if you just treated me equally. And you're not getting away from me either! I'm not losing you now. I'm bringing you somewhere safe where you will make me rich and powerful. Quick, Kevin, roll out the news cameras. I'll go save Monroe. Roger that. I'm taking you to my secret area. None of you help him. If you do, you'll just be in the secret dungeon too. Oh yeah? Well, I'd rather be in the secret dungeon than lose Monroe. I'm not gonna let you enslave and hostage my best friend. Because the more I think about it, the more he deserves to be treated with respect that me or you has ever treated him with. Why, he's the best assistant... <sighs> no. He's the best runner of the hardware store that I could ever think of. <gasps> do, do you really mean that, Toby? Yes, I do. No matter. You'll never take me away. But it's time for me to put an end to all of you. Not really. I've got the news cameras out this whole time. And you're going to jail. Pah! Jail? What jail is that allowed here? You're going away for a long, long time, partner. Thanks for your help, Toby and Kevin. Especially you, Kevin. I should have never doubted that your show is actually good. E. So all this time you've been lurking behind the walls here. We'll sort that out soon enough. Thanks for saving me, Toby. And I'm sorry for coming and working here in the first place. No, no, Monroe, you don't have to be sorry for anything. This whole thing was my fault. Toby Square Hardware has always been my personal passion project. And seeing the success of it is kind of hard to share, I guess. That's why I've always sort of put myself first in the name and first in charge. And I guess Victor sort of had the same issue, which is why what happened to Kevin ended up happening in the first place. But I swear to God, Monroe, I will never let that happen again. Because, like we learned from the Kevin situation here, it could lead to one of the best people in your life walking out on you. And everyone knows that's the last thing I want. And I hope you can forgive me. Of course I can, Toby. Now let's get back to the hardware, especially now that we know that everyone in the world deserves to be treated equally. Kiss! 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 Except for Stepney. Stepney's a frickin' weirdo.